Hi! Today I want to show you an element that made the use of Radium in paint obsolete. Let's take a closer look at the Hydrogen-3, or better known as Tritium. Tritium is a radioactive isotope of Hydrogen, with two additional neutrons. It was first discovered in 1944 by a group of three scientists, Ernest Rutherford, Mark Oliphant and Paul Hartek, who have bombarded deuterium with high-energy deuterons, which resulted in creation of tritium. Today, tritium is most often produced in nuclear reactors by a neutron activation of lithium-6. As a result, lithium turns into helium and tritium. Tritium has a half-life of 12.32 years, and it decays by a beta radiation, and in the process it also releases a gamma ray. Since the energy of both beta and gamma radiation is very low, tritium can be safely used in consumer products. Until the 1960s, many watch manufacturers used radium paint in order to make the dials glow in the dark. However, radium is very dangerous, and because of this it was banned, and was replaced by tritium, which has similar radioluminescent properties, but it is much safer to use. The most common use for tritium is in production of radioluminescent markers that are used in watches, gun sights, and emergency exit signs. The radioluminescence is achieved by coating tritium vial with a layer of phosphor from the inside. When beta particles hit phosphor, they cause it to fluoresce, releasing visible light. Since tritium has a half-life of 12.32 years, these markers will remain glowing for over 10 years, depending on how much tritium is in them. Tritium can also be used as a nuclear battery, generating electricity by converting energy from beta radiation. Many scientists claim that this technology is the future for deep space exploration, where sunlight is too weak to generate enough electricity to power a spacecraft. The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover already runs on a similar kind of battery, which uses plutonium-238, and I'm sure that we will see more nuclear batteries in the near future. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And remember, stay active.